Hello and what's up web geeks? Today I'll show you how to host multiple WordPress websites using a free and open source platform called Qualify on a single VPS. So you just need to have one VPS. I'll be using is hosting and you can have more, um, two or more domains for this. So let's get started. So I have already um, set up my two um, domains and let's set up ease hosting. So if you don't know how to set up, I have created a tutorial for that. Uh, be sure to uh, check that one out. So. Let's go to is hosting, and here um, you can choose. Okay, let's go to VPS pricing. Okay, let's go to uh, pricing, and um, I suggest if you want um, to host multiple WordPress website, I suggest start with at least for uh, four gigabyte of RAM and. I always, um, uh, since my audience um, are from the US, I will choose US so that they can access the websites um, faster. And I have um, good um, experience with Dallas IPs and choose the DBN 12. And Okay, if you want to just um, use for a month, you can choose for a month, and so it has four GB of RAM and three uh, two point twenty gigahertz of virtual CPUs. So um, everything's good, and just add to cart and proceed to payment. So I will be going to my is housing dashboard. And here I am on my um, VPS control panel. Here you can restart or reboot or change uh, your um, operating system. And okay, let's check our public IP for um, uh, potential block list. So I'll, I'll be going to MX Toolbox. Check it out, and my IP is super clean. So, um, what I like about ASOSYNC is their IPs are really, really clean, and they have worldwide um, data centers. So now, we will connect to our um, VPS. Okay, so you need to have. Um, an SSH client, so I'll be using a free SSH client. So sorry about that. So this one, um, I'm using Bitvice and um, paste your IPv4 here and use port 22. And you can start with root. And if you want to secure your website with SSH keys, I have created a tutorial for that. And for now, Okay, let's log in, accept and save. So paste our um, root password. So your root password is sent um, sent to you uh, from this hosting to your email account. And click new terminal console. So now we are connected to our VPS and we can start installing or rather, first and foremost, um, a bit of our system before installing Qualify. So, um, okay. okay, 
so we have updated our um, system and okay let's install qualify so this is official um, script okay, paste it here so if you um encountering um this one so there's no curl or sudo so let's install sudo so okay let's go this way okay now let's install qualify Okay, wait. we'll wait for a few minutes uh, for the installation to finish. Okay, so we have finished installing Coolify. And before that, uh, I'll be connecting my domains to uh, my um, server. So I'll just copy this IP before and I'll set up an A record. So for webchunks.org, okay, let's go to uh, DNS. So I have already added one. So I'll add um, control so that we will access our qualify with um, a subdomain rather than an IP before. So I'll disable the proxy. And if you want to add www. So, some users will um, add WWP before the domain name. So, for the next um, domain, same, we'll just add an error record or root use add and uh, IP before, click save. W and click save. So now we have added our a record and let's go back to our okay. We will access our um, qualify using this IPv4 with port 8000. Okay, we will um, register our um, admin. Okay, so our name, let's say, um, Arnold. Okay, Enter your own um, email here and put your password, um, get a secure password. Be sure to copy this one and uh, put it in a safe place. Click register. Okay, let's get started. So, okay, let's click next. So, the, we will be using a remote server. And, okay, if you um, haven't um, set up um, a private key, um, can create one, uh, one so if you have already um, set up a private key and public key uh, you just need to um, uh, click yes so I have none so this is uh, the base requirement so that your um, server will be easy, um, much secure okay so let's go back to our Okay, let's go back to our um, um, command line and okay so we'll paste this um, public key to um, authorized uh, underscore keys so okay so we'll be So under the qualify, um, paste your public key. So, uh, 
control X, choose Y, and hit enter. And be sure to keep this private key in a safe place because you need this one. And um, okay, click save. So you can uh, name your um, server. So WordPress server one. So for IP uh, address, you can go back to your is hosting um, VPS and click continue. Okay, let's do it. And okay. Qualify is validating and success. We will create a new project. Let's do it um, for resources. Okay, so now um, we are on our um, Qualify dashboard. And first and foremost, we will not use this because this is not secure. Instead, we will use the control. We have created an A record um, earlier so that we control the web chunks at work. So let's go to settings. Okay, so it will be https control the web chunks at work. So, okay, all good, and we want to save this one, so click save, and let's access our Qualify using our subdomain. Okay, now let's log in using the email account we have um, created earlier. Okay, great. So, okay, we are using um, a secure um, link. And okay, let's go to our servers. Okay, we have server here okay let's disable this pop-up first and okay let's install um, WordPress for our first website so let's add a new resource and search for WordPress and okay um, okay let's click this WordPress with MariaDB and click on WordPress server 1 for our server. Okay, so we will go to this um, services and okay, so okay, let's go back first. Okay, we will um, edit this so it will use our domain it will be https and our first wordpress website so webchunks.org we already have an a record for this so it will um, issue a um, ssl so just click uh, deploy and keep this at the logs we'll wait for the installation to finish okay the we have installed wordpress let's close this one and okay our wordpress website is running and let's access our um first uh wordpress website so we will install, uh, choose uh, your language, and click continue. Okay, my first, okay, so the This will be my first WordPress website. Qualify. Okay. Thanks. And 
let's install WordPress. Okay, let's plug in. Okay, we are here on our um, first uh, WordPress website and we have successfully installed our um, first website. And okay, I will just add a theme with this. Okay, I uh, usually prefer cadence. Let's activate. Okay, let's install. We'll use a classic first and let's uh, choose free. Okay, I will not go from, uh, down further. Let's install this. So click next. Finish and install. Okay, let's see our site. have successfully sold and hosted our first uh, WordPress website. So now let's uh, proceed to the second website. Just read and repeat and let's go to projects. We'll add a new resource. Okay, let's add um, click our project first and let's add a new resource as usual. Search for WordPress and okay. we'll just um, rinse and repeat okay, for our second website. It'll be webshop the space. Okay, save. close and let's deploy okay the WordPress is, in, is installed and okay, let's access our second WordPress okay continue Second WordPress website. Web shanks. Okay, I'll use the same password. Okay, let's install. Installed and let's log in. And let's add a theme. Install Cadence and activate. Let's use a starter template and let's use free. And let's use this free. Okay, next. And let's launch. And we have successfully added a theme and that's it. So I have created, um, hosted rather, um, to WordPress website and you can add more as long as your uh, resource is capable. So this is how you will host um, multiple, uh, multiple WordPress websites with Qualify and Qualify is free and open source and um, you can use this on multiple WordPress website. So if you have any questions, um, ask them on the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them all. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.